everyone is in a precarious situation <laughs> as far as I see it. I don't see anyone as being like immune to the darkness of the mind. Life's circumstances changing in any way can reveal things about yourself which have previously been under control. And I've seen plenty of people who have felt like they're going along life in a kind of linear way. Everything feels relatively calm and predictable. And then one event will transform their mental state. If you want your world to be full of potential, you've got to look after your mind. I went to visit this doctor and she goes, ah, just snap out of it. It's just in your mind. And then I remember leaving that doctor's office going, yeah, it is in my mind, and that's the problem. <laughs> it's a cliche that the Brits will laugh at Americans in therapy because it's like, oh, everyone's in therapy in America. Increasingly, I'm really heartened to hear on a lot of the podcasts I listen to, a lot of the English guests are, are in therapy, and I will talk about it now. I think that's the thing. In the UK, people might have had therapy, but they wouldn't want to talk about it. It's like showing a sign of weakness. Be compassionate to yourself so that when things do happen, you're not hurting yourself. You're not blaming yourself. You're not accentuating negative thoughts endlessly. That you have some way to break that cycle, that spiral. I think the fact that nowadays we are in a culture, thankfully, where a lot of people are coming out saying they've had issues, they've had anxiety, they've had things they've had to work through. You go through these things, talk about it and go, yes. <laughs> I need help. Everyone, you know, needs help. Just be mindful to yourself, however you can be, however that works for you. I think, you know, even if it's going for a walk, I mean, it seems so stupid, but it's so important. Just don't take your phone. Meditation, of course, is always super helpful. It can be intense because if you've stirred up that glass of, of all the stuff in there and it's all swirling around and you're supposed to just sit there and wait for the stillness, you might be shocked at just how much noise and chaos there is in there. Music, which can do so much at the right moment to, to elevate, to snap you out of it, to be a companion, to be all those things, to give you a glimmer Sometimes all you need is that, isn't it? Music is my companion. Music is my voice of emotion. Music is a way out of the rigid world of my mind. I go through these moments in my life where I feel like it's all like lost its sheen and it just feels like it's not magic anymore. So basically, at that point, I always go back to Sly. Because it's if, if, if Sly isn't working, then I need to stop everything. Thank you for letting me be myself again. <laughs> I mean, that's a great message. That's what was missing for me. It's always a good thing when you're closer to yourself. <laughs> and, you know, for me, that song is just about, you know, keep on going on that mission. The more you know yourself, the more free you'll be, the more happy you'll be, the more peaceful you'll be.